Ellie Butler was unlawfully killed by her father, but the authorities who handed her back to him are not to blame, a coroner. Rule today. Ben Butler is serving 23 years for beating her to death less than a year after social services sent her back to live with her parents. Dame Linda Dobbs was asked to consider if social workers and other agencies had failed in their duty to protect her. But concluding a 30 minute ruling at South London Coroner's Court, Dame Linda said, On the evidence, I am unable to conclude that any acts or omissions by the relevant agencies possibly or Probably contributed to the death of Ellie Apostrophe. Last month, her grandfather described the heartbreaking day she was sent back to live with her father, who murdered her 11 months later, accusing social workers of failing in their duty to the girl. Neil Gray vowed her death cannot have been in vain as he described her killer as a brutal maniac after the youngster was told she was going for a sleepover at her parents when she was taken away. The six-year-old girl was beaten to death by Ben Butler at their family home in Sutton, South London, in October 2013. She had been placed in the care of her grandparents as a baby after Butler was accused of shaking. Her. Ellie was returned to live with her birth parents in November 2012 after a ruling by Mrs. Justice Hogg in the family. Division of the High Court. But Mr. Gray said Ellie looked like an orphan with dirty hair and the bruise on her face when he saw her for the last time. Two days before her death. He said Ellie's mother Jenny Gray was just as culpable in her death in his evidence at South London Coroner's Court. She stood by and watched that brutal maniac inflict unimaginable injuries to her children and she defended him without question or remorse. He added in a statement. The true horrifying extent of the torture endured by Ellie came out as the criminal trial unfolded. I was aghast. The simple fact is that she was placed at fatal risk by being returned to her parents. Her death had been avoidable. The circumstances surrounding it must be avoided so that lessons may be learned and other children protected in the future. Her death cannot have been in vain. Mr. Gray described the day she was taken away from him and his wife Linda in a statement. Read to South London Coroner's Court. He dabbed his eyes as his evidence was read and asked to leave the hearing for a few minutes to compose himself. The day Ellie left us was simply heartbreaking. She had no idea what was going on, he said. She had been told she was having a sleepover at her mum and dad. Apostrophe S. We told Ellie that we loved her and would see her tomorrow when she came home. But she never did. The killer father of Ellie Butler used his daughter's inquest to protest his innocence today and said, This is far from over. Apostrophe. Ben Butler, 38, is serving life with a minimum of 23 years for beating his six year old daughter to death at their family home in Sutton, South London, in October 2013. In 2016, a jury refused to believe he hadn't killed Ellie, but today he told Croydon coroners court that he will be appealing against his conviction for murder. Speaking from prison by a video link he said, I didn't cause Ellie to die. I didn't cause any injury to Ellie at all. I believe I have got some proof and this is far from over. That's the message to you all, this is far from over. Apostrophe. Butler was involved in a toxic relationship with Ellie's mother Jenny Gray. 38, and he admitted sending her threatening text messages. The inquest heard. Counsel for the inquest Adam Wiseman QC read some of the texts out, Now you will die. V, the angry end, I will maim you bh apostrophe. In his statement read out to the inquest today, Butler said, I should have been more honest with services for children. I did fun things for the children and spoiled them. At the time, I did not understand. I was focusing on what we had fought for six years. I was erratic. The problem was Jenny being in hospital, the local authority, a police, and the doctor all said that Ellie was fine. The children needed both of us. We texted each other from different to avoid arguing in front of the children. Appearing via video link from prison. Butler then told the coroner, Dame Linda Dobbs, of his regret for the abuse of texts he sent to Gray. He said, I realize what I said was absolutely horrendous. I am ashamed and I regret saying them. I should have left so we could heal more. My behavior in regard to Jenny was unacceptable. 
but to say because you are being abusive to your partner therefore you are being abusive to your children is totally wrong, they are two different things.